Hi, it's Pastor Seth. So I wanted to share with you a generosity story, but it's kind of a funny thing as a pastor to share a generosity story because, well, I work at the church and my uh, salary is completely dependent on all the, the gifts and the donations that comes in. So this is a little awkward. I'm just going to acknowledge that. Um, as a pastor, I feel like a lot of people sort of expect me to give generously um, because I work there, right? My job depends on this. I also sometimes feel like um, maybe nobody feels like anybody else could be expected to give as much as the pastor does. But I don't work at the church for the money, right? And so I wanted to share with you, sorry, why I work at the church. When I was in college, I attended the Lutheran Campus Ministry Chapter at the University of Idaho. Campus minister is a woman named Carla Newman Smiley. <clears throat> While I was at LCM, uh, Carla heard about this church in Vancouver, Washington that needed a summer intern. Now, I knew I had about a year left of my degree. I knew at this time that I thought I wanted to be a pastor, but I had no idea what that looked like. So I was really excited about this. Um, this would be an opportunity for me to try this out, see what it was, see if I liked it. Uh, so of course I applied. So uh, summer came, and I should, I should point out here that uh, I chose when I was in college not to work so I could focus more on my studies. That meant that I spent all semester living off of my loan money, which was great in September and January, not so much in December and May. So here it is May, I'm almost out of loan money, I have to move out of my dorm room, I pile all my worldly possessions in the back of my two-door Ford Explorer. I did this every time I went home, and every time I did, I reflected on how little I actually had in the world. It's kind of weird to see all of your stuff in one small pile in the back of a compact SUV. So I packed up all my stuff with just a few dollars in my wallet to drive across Washington to Vancouver. And uh, after I had paid for gas, I had like nothing left. As a matter of fact, one of my meals that day was moon pies. I remember that because after I literally scoured the seat cushions in my car to come up with spare change, that's all I could afford. So I got to Vancouver after dark and um, I'd never been there before. I got lost. All I had was some printed out directions from MapQuest. So I get there. I've never been there before. I'm totally lost. It's dark. I'm just a kid from Montana. I'm lost in this, what to me is this giant urban place. I had nothing. I had, I was far from home. I didn't know anyone. I remember feeling really just small and insignificant. So I had to pull over. I didn't have a cell phone. I had to pull over and find a pay phone. And I called my contact from the church, a woman named Linda. And uh, I was able to hide my panic pretty well, I thought. Um, she very patiently sat on the phone with me and asked me what landmarks were there by. And we figured out where I was. And uh, she was able to give me directions from where I was to the house that the church had rented for me for the summer. She says, okay, once you get there, this woman Kathy is waiting for you. She'll get you all settled in. So I get, I, uh, I get there, remember I've got everything I own is in the back of this car, I'm hungry, I got nothing. I get there, I pull up to this little house and there's a porch light on and there's Kathy. Meets me on the porch, all smiles and hugs and welcoming. Uh, she invites me in and she's ordered a pizza. So I get there, 
And a few minutes later, there's pizza waiting for me too. I remember how I went from nothing, from no money, you know, all my stuff in the back of a car to this house that's got furniture and kitchen supplies and bedding and toilet paper and everything that I could ever need for the summer. Plus this really warm, wonderful woman who's welcoming me and now dinner too. I went from having nothing to having everything I could need in the space of just a few moments. I could tell a lot of stories about why I love the church, but this is one I like most because I think it describes for me most what the church is like for me. I went from having nothing to walking into my, to a home, to my home for the summer. It was all furnished by the generosity of people that I had never met. And so that's what the church has always been for me. When my mom died, when I left for college, when I went to seminary, when I left to go on first call and then to come here to Washington, uh, the church has always been a home for me. And I know that this congregation is a part of that. This congregation uh, makes a lot of people feel at home. This is the community for a lot of different people. And so I'm really grateful that I not only get to work here, but that I get to be a part of helping other people feel like I felt that first night in Vancouver. That's why I love giving to the church. And that's why I'm grateful I get to be able to do this. So thank you. Thank you for making this place a home for me and for so many other people.